Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another episode of Hey, How's the Market? This week, we are taking a look at Albany County. This is the month of month of April review uh, for Albany County. All right, so uh, total active inventory. We've got Albany School District in first place with 95 properties available on the market this month. North Colony School District was second place with 51 properties on the market. Uh, total active inventory for the market for the county was 353 properties. Uh, new pending properties, we've got Albany School District coming in at first place with 46 properties under contract. South Colony School District with 37 properties under contract. Uh, total, total pending properties for this month was 202. New sold properties this month, we've got South Colony School District in first place with 31 properties closed. Albany School District in second place with 28 properties closed. Total properties closed this month was 134. Sold to list price ratio. You got Gilderland School District coming in at first place with just over 104% uh, list, sold to list price. And Voorheesville School District coming in at second place with just under 104% sold to list price. For price points. Uh, 200 to 300,000 took first place with 64 properties under contract this month. 300 to 400,000 took second place with 61 properties under contract this month. For chance to sell, 300 to 400 had the better chance of selling at just under 73% chance. And 200 to 300 stood second best chance of selling at just under 70% chance. For school district, uh, Menands technically had highest chance of selling. Uh, they had four properties available all month, and they sold all that all four of them went under contract. But since there was only four, we'll say Bethlehem uh, what took first place with just over eighty five percent chance of selling. Twenty seven properties available all month long, and twenty three of them went under contract. That's crazy. Uh, so that would make South Colony School District second place with 50 properties available, 37 going under contract, and this is a 74% chance of selling. Total chance to sell for all of Albany County was just over 57%, and the highest sale was $1.3 million in Gilderland School District, a four-bed, three-and-a-half bath colonial home, about 4,600 square feet. On 12 acres. Alright, so inventory chart. This is the beginning of month compared to end of month inventory. So you can see our beginning of month inventory is still kind of going down a little bit. This is the first time since uh, November. So this is the November months here. Well, that, that didn't go up, but <clears throat> uh, that was the last high point we had. So now our ending month is starting to go up, so telling us that we've got more new activity this month than we had closed. Uh, I, we had 200 properties go pending uh, this month, which means we had more than that uh, in new properties this month. Here's our monthly activity. So you can see our total active inventory uh, is starting to go up now. <clears throat> it started to go up last month, but it is starting to go up more now. Our pending numbers are still going up, and our sold numbers uh, last month started to go in a little bit of an uptick. We're down a little from where we were last month, but it's still heading in an upward trend. And you can see by the curves, you'll see it throughout. It, it is showing us that about two-month uh, delay for sold for the sold numbers. Average days on market. So our new pro our our active days on market is heading down. Um, this is, we've got more than 12 months of inventory here. So this is April, where is April? So this would be April here. So we are a little bit, so we're actually lower than we were, uh, last time, which means that, uh, the properties that are on the market have been on the market for less total time than they had been this year. Just telling you that they're selling faster. <clears throat> our pending numbers also going down and sold numbers starting to show a uh, downward trend as that heads down also. Average price. So our average price, you can see our moving 
average is showing an upward trend since about where is that that would be these are December's months numbers right here so since December our price has been going up our sold price is the highest that it's been that we have data for and our pending numbers isn't quite the highest but it's up there so we have this one here and then this one here all of them just above this three hundred and fifty thousand dollar line so we're about right on it right now so this is the highest uh pretty close to the highest point that we've that we've seen since uh we've been doing the numbers list of pr sold price ratio our 100 percent line is right here so you can see we only had other than this one way back in the beginning uh we only had the last four months that were really below 100 percent albany county's always been pretty good at being realistic on their pricing so they are typically very close to the hundred percent even when we dip below we barely got below 99 uh, but here we're showing about hundred and one so we're back over the hundred uh, percent list of sold price ratio expired properties and canceled properties so we are below the linear average linear average is showing an upward trend but we've only got the we've only got really a year uh of data so as we kind of develop into a longer trend will this linear trend will actually start to mean something uh, and i imagine i'll probably level out a little bit but we're pretty low where we are now so we're about summertime low uh these are i know it says october here but the numbers show at the last day of the month before so these are september's numbers right here it's showing at september 30th is why it's just to the left of that line <clears throat> so we're about where we were before the winter market hit so we've dropped pretty quick uh where is the last so these this is last april we're not quite as low as we were last april um but we're we're back down to where we were before the before the winter market hit all right so that has been this week's episode thank you for joining me and please tune in again next time as we take a look at the question hey how's the market Bye-bye for now.